show, Dad a cool show, Dad a cool show, Dad a cool show. It's the Dad a cool show. <laughs> Hello there. Sorry, I was just sending an absolutely astonishingly amusing tweet, as I tend to do. But welcome. Welcome to the first episode of the Dada Cool Show. What have we got in line for you tonight? Well, I'd like you to think of the Dada Cool Show as a sort of TV chat show with guests, but without the guests. Um, we've attempted to get a few major celebrities on tonight, but frankly, for some reason, none of them wanted to come round our house at quarter past seven in the evening. I personally blame the one show, but there you go. But what we do have for you tonight is a exciting review of the week in blogging in our house. We have some product reviews, we have a rant of the week, and anything else that I come up with then it's five minutes basically. So brace yourself for a ride of excitement. Ding. So it's been a fairly eventful week really. Um, it started off with problems with the, the boy sleeping. Um, I blame entirely Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz. The boy watched that, he's a massive fan of Tom and Jerry, he loves Willie the Witch, he also loves um, Megan Mog. So we thought Tom and Jerry, witchcraft, awesome tie-in. What happened? He decided he couldn't go to sleep because witches were going to come into his room and steal him away and possibly eat him. The, the eating seemed to be optional but it was fairly um, important. So I was upstairs with the boys saying look when we had our double glazing done five years ago we took the optional witch proof coating out and there's still five years on the warranty for that. That seemed to do the eye uh, sort the situation out but when I came up to check on him half an hour later he wasn't there. Immediate thought was obviously actually the witch proof coating has failed, he's been carted away, he was right because these things happen don't they? How many times do you think what on earth is my four year going on about I need to be proven wrong? Well fortunately he was wrong. Found him in our bed asleep with five bunnies, a large teddy bear and my panda. Little so and so. That was the start of the week anyway. Moving on from that, we had a trip to soft play on Saturday while uh, my lady wife was doing some work. Had fun, the children ran around like lunatics, so I applied them with fruit shoots and chocolate because I thought I need some brownie points, I've been up ladders doing guttering, I've been doing this, that and the other, need to win some affection from them. So I was slightly disappointed putting uh, Fifi to bed in the evening to find out that when I asked her if she had a nice day, she pondered over it, looked me straight in the eyes and said, want you to go to work tomorrow, Daddy? Want to stay at home and play with Mummy? Go away, you. What can I say? Women, eh? Other than that, I have an exceedingly exciting competition on my blog at the minute. Runs till 10th of October and you can win yourself £250 worth of Shell fuel vouchers. Simple to answer question, or three questions rather. Uh, you just have to multiple choice guess um, a series of cars. But don't worry if you're not a, a massive Ferrari aficionado. There is a link to the um, Ferrari Museum on there and all the cars were taken um, in the Ferrari Museum so fingers crossed you should be with a reasonably good shout of winning £250 which not to be sneezed at. Hmm? Right well that is pretty much it in the week in blogging. Um, fairly quiet, lots of work. On to the review of the week. This week I have a large cardboard tube. This cardboard tube contained 
the Coca-Cola umbrella that my wife got sent. Thank you, Coca-Cola. The children have an inordinate number of toys. Um, you can probably guess toys are spread everywhere, on the floor, cupboards. If there was a way to stick them to the ceiling, they'd be on the ceiling. This, however, is the toy of the week. It's been used as a slide for toy cars. It's been used as a robot arm. And it's been used as the authority trumpet. Admittedly, I used it as the authority trumpet first. Finish eating your dinner. Then you can have your pudding. But obviously it didn't take too long for the children to pick up on that as well and I want to use it as themselves. So, all in all, value for money awesome because it was packaging material. But if you can get your hands on a long cardboard tube, it's great. Absolutely brilliant. I'd give it 10 out of 10, a must for Christmas. Rant of the week. This week I am ranting and I am absolutely raving about pig ignorant commuters on the train. People who see somebody like my wife who is six months pregnant, barge past her to get a seat, or even worse, sit there in the priority seats smirking. You should be ashamed of yourselves. If you're a bloke, I hope your ghoulies shrivel up and fall off. If you're a woman, I hope your lady bitch dry out and desiccate. You're grim. You're shriveled up, dead inside humans. Grrr.